Do 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 do. Skinner and Chalmers. They're two mischievous dudes. With shenanigans they'll usually ensue. Grins on their faces. Their jokes they lay. No one else can quite the same shtick portray. Skinner's devious. Chalmers is shrewd. Plenty of laughter that's guaranteed. In town tonight. Skinner and Chalmers delight. Sure, hey, Welcome to my humble abode, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. Thanks, Principal Skinner. It certainly smells like something delicious is cooking. Indeed it is. We are roasting a pig in the backyard for our little get. Together. It won't be ready for a few hours yet, but feel free to have a seat and make yourself comfortable. Thank you, that sounds great. Is there anything I can do to help out until then? Actually, the sides are almost ready, so you could help me take them out to the table if you'd like. Cursed be this pig roast. What have I done? How can I ever make this right? Is there any way out of this mess? I'm so sorry, devil. Please forgive me. Okay, devil. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go outside and see if I can find a wild boar. I'll catch it and make that coat of olive axonera. That should make everyone at the party happy, right? If I can't find a wild boar, then I'll have to make do with some other type of pork. I've got some onion, garlic, anchovies, carrots, celery, and tomatoes. I'm sure I can make something nice with those ingredients. I'm sure I can make something nice with those ingredients. Wish me luck. I'm counting on you, Dell. All right, here I go. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We have to get out of here. No, no, it's the Sasquatch. I've heard the stories before, and I'm sure it's him. Oh, Skinner, that's the fire alarm, and we have to get out of the kitchen now. Let's go. No, I'm sure it's the Sasquatch. What if I show you, but you have to promise not to tell anyone? Skinner is no Sasquatch. There's a fire and we need to get out now. Thank you for lunch, Mr. Skinner. I'm sorry, but I have to be going now. It looks like your house is on fire, though. I'm so sorry. Nonsense. That's just a Sasquatch I got living here with me now. Don't worry, the chimney's been in worse shape than this. Well, if you say so, goodbye. Bye now. Good luck with the Sasquatch. Welcome. Please, come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. I hope you're hungry. The Seventh Day Adventism is cooking, but not ready yet. Adventism. Sounds intriguing. What type of dish is that? It's a traditional Susanese dish. It's a curry-based stew made with a variety of vegetables, meat, and spices. God, why did this have to happen? I worked so hard to make it perfect, and now it's ruined. I don't understand why you had to do this to me. Please forgive me and help me to try and make it right again. Lord, I need your guidance right now. Show me what I can do to fix this mistake and make something good out of it. Give me understanding and strength to find a solution, and help me to remember that in all things I should trust in you. Amen. God, please help me find a way to replace the beliefs of this burnt Seventh-day Adventism with something positive and healthy like Sujo. Show me the path and strength to do so. Amen, strength to do so. Amen. I'm going to start by researching Sujo and discovering its beliefs and practices. I will work to replace the teachings of the Seventh-day Adventism with something that will bring greater peace and joy to my life and the lives of others. I am now open to your guidance in this journey. Please help me to create something beautiful meaningful, and lasting. Amen. From here, I will take one step at a time. Thank you, God, for your grace and guidance. Skinner, I asked for Freka, not Pachiviria. Where is the freak I asked for? Ah, uh, yes, the Freka. Well, I'm sorry to inform you that it has already been eaten. You see, a family of gnomes came to our cafeteria today, and they were so ravenously hungry that before I could stop them, they had already devoured the entire vat of freaky. Gnomes? How exactly did they manage to eat the freaky without being seen or causing a disturbance? Oh, don't worry about them. 
They're incredibly stealthy. They sneak around in the night and take things for their meals. By the time I noticed them, it was already too late. But don't worry, the Pachiveria is just as good. Skinner, that's not a satisfactory answer. I demand that you tell me the truth. What the hell is going on here? Why is this room so full of smoke and why were you climbing out the window? Calm down, Chalmers. It's just steam from the steamed whortleberries I'm making. Very delicious, but I'm afraid I won't be able to serve them to you tonight. You're lying. Your stories are getting more far, fetched with each passing day. Now, tell me what's really going on here. Skinner! The kitchen is on fire! What are you gonna do? Oh, that must be a skunk ape. Don't worry, I'm sure it'll be fine. A skunk ape? You have to be kidding me! Can I see it? Um, no. I don't think that would be a good idea. We should just let it be. No, I need to see it for myself. We can't just ignore this. Thanks for lunch, Superintendent. I think I'll be getting on now. It looks like your house is on fire. What are you talking about? It's just the skunk ape out back trying to pull off another prank. That's no skunk ape. That's a fire. Don't be ridiculous. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go find out why the skunk ape is so mischievous today. You can't just ignore a fire. You mean to call the fire department or do something to put it out. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It's great to be here. I'm sure you're looking forward to having a taste of my famous honey buns. They're not quite ready yet, but I promise they won't be too long. I can't wait. Your honey buns are the stuff of legend. I'm glad you think so. Would you like to have a seat while we wait? Um... Let's see, I could chop it down and drag it inside, or I could try to climb in there and snatch some branches. But either way, I'm gonna need some tools. Maybe I should go to the hardware store. Maybe I should go to the hardware store. No. There's definitely an easier way. I bet I could just ask my neighbor for some help. After all, even a monkey knows two hands are better than one. All right, I've got a plan. Time to see if I can sweet talk Mrs. Daniels into helping me get some silk tree branches. Well, Frank never said being a scientist would be easy. Here goes nothing. It's not just a problem. You violated the trust of your team. We rely on each other to share and communicate honestly regardless of the circumstances. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We have to do something. Um... No, it's just an ogre passing by. Nothing to worry about. Skinner, I want to see for myself. No, it's too dangerous. We shouldn't go near it. It's my kitchen and I need to make sure the fire is out. Ugh, Skinner, the house is burning down. It's an ogre, Chalmers. This is why we don't believe in superstition. Skinner, we really need to do something. We need to get everyone out of here. Yes, of course. Let's go. Thank you, Skinner. Skinner, what the hell is going on here? What are you doing? Why is the kitchen filled with smoke? Oh, uh, well, it's nothing, sir. Just some steam from the steamed Vietnamese salad I'm preparing. Bullshit. What was that noise I heard? And why were you climbing out of the window? And why did you not inform me of this decision? What is that terrible smell? Oh, I'm sure it's just a ghoul. Nothing to worry about. If I can't see it, how do I know it isn't a fire? It must be a ghoul. No need to worry. Can I see the ghoul then? Oh, okay, Skinner. Thanks for lunch. I have to get going. Guess I'll see you tomorrow. See ya, Chalmers. Have a great day. You too, Skinner. Oh, don't worry about the smoke. It's just a little old ghoul. Oh, yeah, sure. Okay, bye, Skinner. Damn it. I just burned the toll tool and now everything is ruined. Why did I have to do such a stupid thing? 
The devil must be laughing at me right now. But I won't let you get away with it, devil. I won't let you win this time. I see a tree outside the window that looks like it has plenty of usable wood. I'm sure I could make a new tulchel out of it if I had the right tools. I can just imagine the devil sitting there, shaking his head at my foolishness. But I'm determined to make this happen. Come on, devils, lend me your strength. I'm sure I can create something great with the materials I have available. Okay, this is just like a puzzle, and I'm sure I can solve it. Let's get to work. All right, here we go. I'll need to find some tools that I can use and start cutting the wood into the right shapes. Then I can start sanding and polishing it until it's the right size and shape needed for a tulltal. And if I'm lucky, the end result will be something truly special and unique. A new and improved Tulchul from the Burnt One. Apology accepted, Skinner. I'll make sure to inform the lunch lady so this isn't repeated in the future. Skinner, what is that smoke and why is the kitchen on fire? Nothing to worry about, Chalmers. It's just a UFO passing by. We don't need to worry about it. Let's just go about our day as usual. Come on, Skinner. I think we can both agree that something isn't quite right here. I need to see what's going on. Can you show me? No, I'm afraid not. It's a UFO, and they don't allow humans too close. It's best if we just stay away and let it pass through. Skinner is clearly a fire here. We need to take action and put it out. Are you going to help me or not? Well, I'm heading out. Thanks for lunch, Skinner. I gotta get back to my office. Sure thing, Chalmers. Have a good day. Oh, and one more thing. Have you seen any strange lights in the sky lately? I swear I saw a UFO last week. No. I haven't seen any UFOs lately. But I'm sure you'll spot one soon. Bye now. Bye, mutters to himself. I still think it was a UFO. Even as the house around him is burning down. Skinner continues to lose himself in his own little world, pretending there was an alien spacecraft hovering by. Fuck. I can't believe I burnt the Vietnamese salad. I put so much time and effort into that dish and now it's ruined. Damn it. I knew I should have set the timer. I knew I should have set the timer. I'm such an idiot. Fuck. Now what am I gonna do? I can't go through all the trouble of making it again. Ah. Uh. This is so frustrating. Why did this have to happen now? Fuck! I thought you'd enjoy the surprise. Skinner, I'm not an idiot. Just give me the truth. Is everything okay in the kitchen? It smells like smoke in here? No, it's probably just a kraken. Nothing to worry about. I'd like to see it if it's okay. No, it's nothing to worry about. I'm sure it's just a kraken. Well... Can you at least open the door and show me? Well, I better get going. The fire seems to be getting worse, and I don't want to be in the way. Thanks for lunch, Skinner. No problem, Chalmers. Well, have a good day then. Wait, what fire? Is something wrong? Oh, no, no fire here. It must just be some sort of giant kraken or something. Oh, okay then. See you later. So why is there Swedish fruit soup instead of Fort Smith, Arkansas cuisine? Ah, uh, well, I'm sure you've heard of the old Swedish proverb. When life gives you fruit soup, make Fort Smith cuisine, and it looks like that's exactly what I've done. That's not really a proverb, but I'll play along. So why hasn't it worked? What happened to the Fort Smith cuisine? Well... It seems the monkeys they used to harvest them got a little too enthusiastic and harvested all of the ingredients. I'm sure they had nothing but good intentions, but I guess they just got carried away. Monkeys harvesting ingredients? Skinner, you can't just make this stuff up. What's really going on here? Tell me the truth. What's going on here? Damn it. I can't believe I burned the shellfish poisoning. Now I'll have to start the dinner all over again. What was I thinking? Curses. Hey, Skinner! Why is the kitchen on fire? Oh, no fire here, just Newton's laws of motion. Can I see it? No, you can't see it. I'm just telling you it's Newton's laws of motion. I, I don't understand. It looks like a fire to me. 
Can I put it out? If I could find a way to introduce a parasitic disease into the burn to Sumashi, that would be a great solution. I know this area has a lot of bugs, so maybe one of them could be the culprit. I wonder what I can do to get the disease into the population. I... I could start by looking for an insect that carries the parasitic disease and introducing it into the area. I need to be careful, though, that it doesn't spread too quickly, or it could become a serious health hazard. I should also be sure to monitor any effects it has on the Burntu Samashi population. Okay, I think I have a plan. Now I just need to find the right insect and put my plan into action. That should do it. Let the search begin. Uh, this might be a challenge, but I'm up for it. Skinner, please don't lie to me. Why did you bring chop suey instead of vegetarian chili? What is going on, Skinner? I can clearly see there's a fire in the kitchen. Uh, no, no, no. That's just our flying dragons. Don't worry, they won't get out of control. Nothing to be concerned about. I'd like to see the dragons, then. No, no, no. That's not a good idea. They're very skittish, you know. Skinner, this is getting serious. We need to get this fire under control. Well, thank you for lunch, Principal Skinner. What an interesting tale you told me about the flying dragons. Oh, no problem. You know, I do like to tell stories. Yes, but why do you keep pretending there's no fire when the house is burning down? I'm hesitant to admit it, but I guess I have a fear of fire. So, I find it easier to pretend it isn't there. I understand. Well, I'd better get going before it gets too bad over here. Ah, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome. Please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It smells like you've been busy in the kitchen. Yes, I'm making my special high maltose corn syrup for Superintendent Chalmers. That sounds divine. I can't wait to try it. How long until it's ready? Fucking hell. I can't believe I burned the high maltose corn syrup again. God damn it, I have been working on this recipe forever and it's ruined. This is so frustrating. I have to start over. Uh, I wish I could get my act together and not make these stupid mistakes. I'm never going to finish this recipe if I keep messing up like this. I can't believe it. This is perfect. I can use the items at the Field Museum as a replacement for the burn thigh maltose corn syrup. It won't be quite as sweet, but it will do. Now, I just need to figure out how to get the ingredients out of the museum and... Damn it! I should have thought of this earlier. All right, I'll just have to make do with what I have. I might have to get creative, but I'm sure I can find a way to make it work. Focus, Skinner. You can do this. Let's go find some field museum items that'll work. All right, let's do this. The flavor is out of this world. But this isn't what I asked for. It's not a gargoyle. This kitchen is on fire, and we need to put it out now. No, no, there's no fire. I'm sure it's just a gargoyle. Let's take a look at it together, shall we? No, there's no time for this. We need to put out the fire now. Come now. I'm sure it's just a gargoyle. No need to worry about this. Ah, fake. I've done it again. Now I have to eat burned biscuits for dinner. <laughs> oh, well, I guess there's no use crying over spilled milk. Burr. Burned biscuits. I just need to not do this anymore. I better focus on making dinner. What else do I have in the kitchen? Maybe I'll try a different recipe this time. Fuck it. I'm gonna try to use the buffalo curd to replace the burnt biscuit. I apologize for the misunderstanding and I'll make sure to bring the correct item next time. You'd better. I expect you to get it right next time or there will be consequences. Yes, sir. I understand. Very well. See that you don't make the same mistake again. Why won't you show me the harpsichord? I don't think it's necessary. It's just an old instrument that belongs to a friend of mine. No need to worry about it. Uh, why can't I see it? It's just kind of hard to explain. 
Maybe we can talk about it another time. No, I want to see it now. What's wrong with the harpsichord? Well, thanks for lunch, Skinner. I better be on my way before this house catches fire. What fire? I don't see any fire. I hear a harpsichord, though. Must be a concert playing somewhere nearby. No, Skinner, I think that's the sound of the fire. You might want to call the fire department soon. Nonsense. There's no fire here, it's just a harpsichord. I'm sure it will pass. All right, Skinner. You might want to think about getting out of the house, though. Damn it, I can't believe I burned the Fort Smith, Arkansas. This was supposed to be the best day ever, and now it's ruined. How could I be so careless? If only I had been more careful, I could have avoided this mistake. Ah, why did I have to mess up like this? I know it won't happen again. I'm gonna have to be more careful next time. Can't let something like this happen again. You expect me to believe that? You better give me the truth or else... Well, all right, if you must know. I was attempting to make a flaming baked Alaska. The fire got too big. I was trying to put the fire out, but clearly it was an unwinnable battle. So I decided to make a tactical retreat. Okay, I think I can use the firewood outside the window to build a meat cutter. I think if I prop it up against the wall and use a few of those branches, it can be my makeshift cutter. Now I just need to find some kind of blade to attach to it, and I'm good to find some kind of blade to attach. Aha, maybe I can find something in the shed that I can use as a cutting surface. Let's see. I need something metal and sharp. Maybe the old toolbox has something useful in it. Now all I need to do is figure out how to rig it up so I can get it working. If I can find some kind of pulley system, I think I could actually make this work. No, oh, this is definitely not a fire. It's Mostodon. You can't see it, but trust me, it's Mostodon. I'm not sure I believe you. I want to see the Mostodon for myself. No, I'm sorry. You can't see it. It's dangerous. Just trust me, it's not a fire. I'm not convinced. I think I should go and check for myself. Goodbye, Mr. Skinner. Thank you for lunch. It was very nice. No problem, Chalmers. Have a wonderful day. You too. Say, why don't we pretend that it's a giant mammoth instead of a fire? Let's pretend that the house is actually made of ice instead of burning up. Okay, sure. That will make it much more fun. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Won't you please come in? The spice cookies are in the oven, but they're not quite ready yet. <sighs> ah, it smells wonderful in here. I'm quite looking forward to tasting your experimental cookies. What spices did you use in them? A little of this and a little of that. I used a bit of ginger, allspice, cinnamon, and nutmeg to give them some flavor. I hope you like them. Sounds delicious. I'm sure they'll be a hit. I look forward to sampling them. What a great opportunity this is. Okinawa Prefecture is known for its clear waters and beaches, and the city of Naha is filled with plenty of culture and activities. This would be an ideal replacement for the burnt-out destination of Lisbon. I just need to figure out the logistics of how to get there, and how... But first, I'll need to research cost estimates, figure out the best route, and maybe even search for deals. This could be an adventure of a lifetime. I'm sure I can make this dream come true. Time to get started. Let's do this. What is that goat-awful smell? Skinner! The kitchen is on fire! We need to get out of here! What? No, I'm sure it's just a griffin. You don't even need to worry about it. But I can see the flames. We need to get out of here now. No, no. I'm sure it's just a griffin. You don't need to worry. I won't let you even see it if you want to. Skinner, this isn't a griffin. This is a real fire. We need to get out of here now before it spreads. Well, I'd better get to work. I bet I could make a fast break out of those Reese's peanut butter cups I spotted out the window. That ought to do the trick. Okay, let's see. First I'll melt the chocolate, then I'll mix it with some of my secret ingredients. Um, I think if I add some cream, cashews, and a pinch of cinnamon, I should be able to make this work. Alright, here goes nothing. 
Now here's hoping this works or else I'm in a really pickle. Come on, Reese's fast break, you can do it. Oh, and a few more drops of almond extract can't hurt, right? All right, here goes. We, I did it. I made the Reese's fast break. Now to test it out and see if it's any good. Here goes nothing. That's quite a story. How did you find this mysterious superfood in the jungle? Skinner, you need to face the facts. The kitchen is on fire. We need to evacuate the building or call the fire brigade now. No, 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 it's not a fire. It must be a demon. Don't worry, I've got it under control. No need for the fire brigade. Come on, let me see it. It's not a demon. It's definitely a fire. No, I told you, it's not a fire. It's a demon and I know how to handle it. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. This isn't a demon. It's an emergency. We have to get out of here or call the fire brigade. Please, we need help. Hello, Principal Skinner. It smells delightful in here. What you cooking? Ah, uh, that would be my famous Nampton pan. It's quite a process, so it's not quite ready yet, but should be done very soon. That sounds delicious. I'm looking forward to trying it. Oh, you shall not be disappointed. I'm sure you'll find it quite satisfying. Why did I have to be so careless? Now I have to start over. Well, I'll be damned. That palm tree outside the window has a few ripe copier coconuts on it. This will be perfect for replacing the burnt Nam Tan. Skinner, I know the kitchen is on fire. We need to get out of here. No, no, it's not the kitchen that's on fire. It must be the Bukit Time a Monkey Man. Skinner, there is no such thing as a Bukit Time a Monkey Man. Let's go, the kitchen is on fire. No, you must be mistaken. It must be the Bukit Tima Monkey Man. Well, can I see it? Thank you, Principal Skinner. How has your day been? It's been busy, but I'm so glad that you could make it to dinner. I'm just finishing up with the Organic Foods Production Act of 1990. I think it's almost ready. Ah, uh, yes. I remember reading about it. What kind of changes are you proposing? Well, I want to make sure that organic foods are produced in an environmentally friendly way without the use of artificial chemicals or any other agency that may damage the environment. I can't believe I messed up so badly. How could I have been so careless? I knew the importance of this act and now I have ruined it. Oh, thanks for lunch, Skinner. I should be going now. Wait! Before you go, let me tell you about the story of the Flying Dutchman. It's about a cursed ship that is doomed to sail the seas for all eternity. It serves as a warning to all sailors to never give up hope, no matter how dire the situation. It's a fascinating story, but I'm afraid I must be going. The house is on fire and I need to get out of here. Nonsense. There is no fire. Just keep up the faith, just like the Flying Dutchman. We'll get through this no matter what. Skinner, I admire your determination, but I really must be going. I don't think you understand. The house is actually on fire.